there, Heather Boy Wire here. Welcome to my channel. If you like making wire art and jewelry, be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY videos. And I'm also open to special requests. Today we are actually doing a very easy project to make some end findings for leather cord uh, necklaces. And uh, it's very easy to do. I'm making it with sterling silver wire, but you can make it out of copper wire or any kind of wire for that matter. For this project, you're going to need 2 millimeter leather cord. I use Argentium silver, which tarnishes less than a regular sterling silver. This one is 20 gauge and it's half hard. And then my pliers, I have round pliers, flat pliers, and cutters. So what you're going to do first is actually clean the wire. So I have this silver cleaning cloth. You wipe it with the red side to uh, clean it with the chemicals and then you flip it and you wipe it with the yellow side. I'll put a link below where you can purchase this cloth. And after that we're going to cut a piece that's about six inches long and we're going to about two inches from the end. We're just going to bend it and fold it. Give it a little pinch and then we're going to get the round pliers. I have smaller round pliers to bend the end like that and then larger round pliers to just bring it around and form the loop. And you want the loop to be a generous size like that. And then what we want to do is wind the short end around. So hold it a little bit below the end of the of the hook and just loop it around like that and give it a little cut and then what we're going to do is actually bend this back and you want to form this loop which is actually going to attach to the end of your leather cord so we'll leave that open for now and we'll attach it to the cord after. So to make the loops that go on either end of the leather cord what we want to do is start by taking our silver, we've cleaned it, and then you actually want to cut this on a bit of an angle. Okay, so it's a little bit a little bit sharp. In fact you can file it so it's a little even more sharp if you want, if you have a little file. And then what you're going to do is you just want to Imagine how much you want to poke into the leather. So I'd say not too much, maybe about a quarter inch. And then we're going to bend that. And then you're going to make a little loop around like that. I don't like to make this loop super big because the pendants I put on, I actually want them to be able to like hop over that loop. But you can make the loop a lot larger if you think you're going to need it large enough to go into the hook because see the hook is actually going to go into there but that works. So now what we're going to do is we take our leather which we've already cut so it could be anywhere between 16, 18 or 20 inches long depending on your necklace and then this part's a little bit tricky we're actually going to put center this on the leather cord and you just kind of wiggle it in like that because we want it to pierce into the cord. So I've actually only poked it in about maybe an eighth of an inch. It's really just to capture that last little bit of the cord. And then I'm going to hold this end securely with the flat pliers. And you want to take the silver wire now and wind it around this end. So the idea is you want it to wind around the part where the wire is poked in and you want to try to do it as evenly as possible and then you'll see once you get past the part where the wire is poked in it's going to just tightly go around the cord so you have a little bit of st stability with the wire that's poked in and then after it's going to get a good grip on the leather cord there because sometimes with these end caps they can just come off which is a real drag so 
what I've done is I wound it around and then to be extra secure you can actually just pinch that in a little bit but not too much because the leather cord is a little fragile and there you have it's a nice solid end there. So once you have the um, both loops done you're going to choose which end you want to put the hook on and you're going to take your hook that you've already made and loop it onto there so you have that like that and then you're going to just hold this in place and you want to wind this around to actually catch that end there so it doesn't slide around so you're going to wind it around a couple of times and then we're going to clip the end in there and you can go ahead and pinch in that pokey end and after that you can just slide on a pendant. So now all you have to do is put on your pendant and these are actually fused glass pendants that I make and sell at the Viva Vida Art Gallery in Montreal and I just would uh, make this loop large enough that we could stick this inside so it is removable if you want to put it on a chain and there you have your beautiful uh, leather cord necklace. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you make a leather cord necklace, please share photos on Instagram and at sign me at Heather Boyd Wire. And like I say always, if you have any special requests, please put them in the comments below and I do all kinds of tutorials. And if you'd like to purchase my full wire art course, I have a link below to uh, for my step-by-step -step beginner uh, wire art class.